Hi guys. So this will be a tutorial for the um, B-Ball Angel Wing Pendant. So when you get the file, it will be large. It, you, when you bring it into your um, design space or if you use a silhouette, whatever you call that program, when you bring it in, it will be a large file. And before you do any detaching or anything, let's just make it small enough for you to work with. So we're gonna I'm gonna put it on a three right now. And to get it to a workable state, we wanna take and grab yourself a square and bring it down to cover this image here. Then select all of this and slice. Get rid of that and get rid of that. Okay. You're working with this this circle here because this is the size. You can use this um, template to do to use with this is the um, the basketball image. Your template won't look like this. You will get the full detailed template. But this is the basketball image, and this is layers that go behind the basketball but this is also your your um layer for your photos in case you want to do a memorial photo pendant so you want to size everything by this especially if you're going to use a photo because this determines what size this is for the pendant if you see seen the pendant in the picture for where you are purchased this template then that image for that basketball was um, one inch or if you saw a picture it was also one inch so we want to um, we're building the template around or the wingspan around the size of this area here so you want to size everything um, at the same time so you slide this all the way over to zero zero position and let's say we're gonna we're just gonna make it a one inch you just select everything at the same time and just bring that in until that circle reaches that one inch over there so we see it's 1.006 do not make the mistake of sizing this by itself because you will throw it off it will not fit the rest of this stuff okay now you can begin cutting everything else apart so you just grab another square and slice that's your ball grab another square And slice now for if you see the pendant that I did that's the one inch pendant you'll know that this was cut from gold cardstock and in doing so you want to make a duplicate of that and you want to horizontal flip it Let's make it yellow. This will be the front of that pendant. This will be for the back of the pendant. While we're at it, let's make a duplicate and put it over here and just cut it off for the time being. So we also know that the basketball was gold. So we want to make that yellow as well. Okay, so you would attach these and cut those out of gold cardstock cut that off now for no cut that off this is your um let me cut the no the basketball can stay off well let me show you this before we move on to there The, the wings um, are in silver glitter, 
So it's, it's just like so. This is the layering method. The silver glitter goes over. This would be the front one and this would be the back one. The silver glitter would go over the front one. And then the basketball would go over. This would these would um be your uh layers behind the basket basketball that make the black that you see through the um through the cutouts of the ball. So that would go there, your black layers, and then your ball will go on top like so. And that would create the pendant. So again, this is your front layer, this is your back layer for the um, wing pendant, and this is the gold for the basketball. So all that would be cut in gold. You would attach that and then cut that off because you, you don't need it until you cut it out. So for the wings, they're the only thing that is in um, silver. So you cut that out of your glitter cardstock, cut that and cut that off. You don't need it. For um, your layers for your that go between your front and back layer for the wing pendant, you want to use the front image or the back image. It doesn't matter, but you want to use that to create your layers. And um. Four should be good to go between there. Four should be good. If you want it real thick, you could do more, but four is a good amount. So you attach those and you cut those out of black cardstock. And for the basketball, this these would go behind the basketball. So you would um, duplicate that. And three should be good for that. So all of that would um, go like so. And then I forgot to cut on the, let's attach these. And let's go back over here and cut these these on and no not that cut that off let's cut the wings cut those on and make a duplicate Put one back and just cut it off so you want to make that let's cut this attachment off make this black as well because these would be all your layers for your wing so you cut maybe three for that as well three behind the wings So you attach all of these and you cut these out of your black cardstock. Or if you want to use white, you can use white. It's totally up to you. You could do white. So to recap, you're going to cut your front and back of the um, pendant out of, and the basketball out of gold foil cardstock. You're going to cut the wings out of silver glitter cardstock. You can do it however you want. This is just, I'm just telling you how I did it in, for the picture that you saw of the completed pendant. So you cut the wings out of the glitter cardstock. And then you use, you cut um, this out of black cardstock or white cardstock because these are your later, layers that you need to build up the pendant. And then you can you can use um, a necklace bell. You can buy um, you can buy those on Etsy or wherever they um, sell jewelry findings to attach the pendant to. So you can attach it to a necklace, or if you know how to uh, make a bell in here, then you can make your own bell in here as well. I hope this template this tutorial helps. Thanks for watching.